Hello there, welcome to my channel. This is Lady Jenna. Today, we're going to be looking at two Halloween craft kits from Dollarama, the Canadian dollar store. The first one is a stamp set, and the second one is paint your own mask. Let's get crafting. These are our Halloween crafts for today. The first one is paint your own mask. And the second one we're going to test uh, the foam stamp set. So let's start with these stamps. We're going to put the mask away for now. Uh, the foam set is at $1.75. We're going to open this. If you notice in the package, I'll show you. The ink ran. So I don't know if there's going to be ink still to use. If the ink is going to be dry, this is what we're going to be testing. Okay, okay so I did make a mess. Let me just get this cleaned up. To clean this up, I'm going to be using multi-surface uh, multi wipes that I bought from Dollarama at $3. There's 75, one, uh, 75 wipes in here. Right now, I'm not impressed. Very not impressed since when I purchased this, I did not verify and make sure everything was okay. What is including in the package? Let's look at the foam stamps. First one, we've got a skull, a spider, pretty cool, cat, a pumpkin, and the pumpkin is dirty. Let's wipe that off. We've got our Frankenstein, got our ghost, we've got our house, and the bat. Yeah, that is messy. So this stamp set does, is not giving me a good impression, just really not. Imagine giving this to kids. I would be very surprised if there was any ink left. Okay, that's the best that I can do. Let's test this. I'm going to be using the back of this. Let's open this up. And let's give it a try. We're going to start with the skull. Dab, dab, dab. As I was expecting. Yeah, the ink is dry. There was more ink outside of this ink pad than what it... Yep. So that is a fail. That is a total fail. Leaked from this box. I don't know how it leaked though. Because I don't see anything that would have caused there's no cracks anywhere and it's completely dry there's a little bit of, bit of ink left not enough to be able to stamp so this goes in the trash i'm going to keep the foam stamps because they're good they're nice as for the ink pad i will have to use my own i do have ink pads um, so this kit when you do purchase this kit, please, please make sure that it did not leak in the package. Very important. So let's put this aside and let's try the mask. This is our mask. It does come with paint. The price is $3. Hopefully the paint is not dried. This is what we're going to verify at the same time. It comes with an elastic. I love the texture. Paint will stick on this. We need to open this up. Nice. Okay, this is going good. Looks like we're going to have enough paint because it goes on thick. So this is nice. Since this is a mask, it does not have to be perfect. I'm going to open all the paints. I'm going to test each color. Okay, so all the paints are opened. So you've got our black, 
you got our orange, which we already did. Then we have green, blue, blue is nice, yellow. I just grabbed a better brush. So let's do the yellow with the better brush. The yellow is pretty nice. Yeah, this brush is no good. No good at all. This is way better. And these brushes, I did buy them at the dollar store. I don't remember exactly how I paid. It comes with several brushes. The red is a nice color. So let me just paint the whole thing. We're going to make sure we have enough, enough paint. I have completed the mask. What are my thoughts about the mask and the paint? The paints, I have enough. I still have some in these little containers so there's plenty the brush I don't recommend if you are going to be buying this kit make sure you have other brushes this is not a good brush this mask is an A in my book very easy to paint it paints good the texture of the mask I like good crack it if we talk about the stamp set do not buy the stamp set for the ink. Always have extra ink, possibly good quality ink. This is not my first stamp set that I purchased from Dollarama or Dollar Store. They always, is always dry or almost dry. It never goes very far. However, if you like the stamps, if you love the design of the stamps you see, please do not hesitate. Buy it. It's worth it. It's not worth it for the ink, but it's definitely worth it for the designs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be doing other reviews. I will be showing you other Halloween craft. When Christmas time comes, I will do Christmas crafts. And also I will have everyday craft. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a good day. Take care. See you in the next video.